What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm outside alone with this beautiful car. Although I'm not really alone because I'm out here away from everybody to avoid people and copyrighted music. And there is a brewery right where I'm pointing that is playing very loud outdoor, more than likely copyrighted music, such as life. Anyway, I can't believe I haven't actually reviewed one of these yet. I've been uh, around a couple of them. Never actually did a review on it. I'm like, really? This is the one I didn't do? Anyway, 04 XLR, let's check it out. What's nice about this one is everything actually works, including the power top pretty flawlessly. This has got the weird uh, memory seat thing where the steering wheel goes down automatically when you get in. Must have been like a four foot six person who owned this car before. A lot of people I know who talk about the XLR say that it's basically a fancy Corvette made by Cadillac, even though this was a somewhat of a failure. They didn't sell a ton of them, blah, blah, blah. Driving this car around for a little bit, to me, it feels nothing like a Corvette from this era. I'm, I'm talking like, uh, like C5. It's a little bit of a stretch maybe to mention the C6, but definitely C5. Uh, this feels entirely different aside from some of the switch gear, some of the buttons and whatnot. This is kind of a very lazy feeling car, like the steering is really buttery smooth, but it's numb. It's not very direct. And the uh, the ride on this is quite soft. Uh, this, I believe, has magnetic ride control. It actually takes the bumps and dips quite well considering its age. So this is more like a luxury cruiser and the Corvette as well, the Corvette. So even though they kind of look similar and they come from the same company, to me, that they, they drive completely different. So not quite a fancy Corvette. I feel like this is its, its own thing. And the North Star despite it having its reputation, to me, feels quite smooth on acceleration, like the engine response and everything is actually pretty good on this, believe it or not. But enough rambling, less talky, more pokey. The seat I'm sitting in right now is quite squeaky, by the way, even if I just move an inch. So some of the squeaks might not actually be squeaks. It's literally my back rubbing against the leather or against the seat. So careful now.
And now for the button test. You guys hear that? This thing's getting angry. That is oddly satisfying. Wow, this fogging up in here bad. I don't want people to get the wrong idea, if you know what I mean. Anyway, final button, let's go. Oh yeah, fire's right up. And here's the odometer. In case you were all curious, pretty good for the year. I gotta turn on the front defrost. Anyway, how did this do? All right, so fit and finish wise, this thing didn't have the loudest squeaks I've ever experienced, but it was squeaky in a lot of places, which is pretty much everywhere I touched, is what it is. This is a GM product from the mid 2000s. You're not gonna be escaping the quality issues too much. Again, this car really sells itself on the way it looks, the fact that it's a hard top convertible, and the way it drives, and it's a piece of Cadillac history. Um, this thing is not gonna win any beauty contests on the inside here. So, gonna give it a five out of 10 for fit and finish, which is kind of bad, but I've done worse. As far as the materials go, a uh, little bit of a mixed bag in here. Again, I mentioned mid 2000s GM, a lot of the plastics that are in here are uh, are not too great. Like look at this pattern here on the uh, on the dash. It's it's a bit on the hard side, even though when you press it, there is a little tiny bit of give. But look at this really ugly looking texture. It looks like an elephant's butthole. This is common in all sorts of late '90s, early 2000s cheap cars. I mean, that's kind of everywhere uh, in this era, unfortunately. And to me, it looks like ass, but maybe to you, it looks like gold. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Again, this is the impression that I get. So the whole upper dash, the glove box area is that material. However, when we get a little bit lower, we actually have like a little bit nicer vinyl with some stitching. I like that. And then even right over here, this is actually like a halfway decent soft touch. I'm, I'm kind of liking that actually. And then as far as the seats go, I think this is real leather, although it feels extremely dry. If this is real leather, it's like the lowest grade that GM could possibly get away with legally at the time. I guess it's acceptable. And then the wood in here is actually quite nice. You guys know I love some nice wood here. Kind of like a, this is like a little bit brighter wood, like a, I don't know if this is really considered a burl walnut kind of wood or not, but. I like it, and it hasn't cracked yet. It's on the steering wheel. It's on the little uh, handles here. 
I kind of dig it actually. And then we have plastic that sort of kind of potentially maybe imitates metal. Guess it's better than uh, straight untextured plastic. And then a lot of the switch gear and buttons is pretty typical of GM from back in the day. I think some of the buttons on the surface they made a little bit nicer because Cadillac, but uh, the physical part is the same as anything else that came out in the day. Like here, this uh, this light stock, for example, you can get this out of like a 2002 Suburban or a Chevy, whatever. You can get this out of like a $1,000 car, basically. But that's the way they did it back then. So materials wise, I think this is average actually. It's got some bad, but it's got some good. I'm gonna give that a five out of 10 for materials. So final score, the whole car gets five out of 10. And that's for both fit and finish and materials. Nice driving car. Again, feels more like a Grand Tour than a fancy luxury Corvette that people say. That is just the impression I get and the exhaust has kind of a nice sound even coming from uh, from this North Star V. And this is not even a V. They made an XLR V for a little while. Those are very hard to find right now, but decent car. If you want to own a piece of Cadillac history and have a soft ride, this is it. Anyway, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.